In this video, we will learn how to push and pull widgets around the screen when user interaction causes widgets to be shown and hidden. We're going to add a new paragraph below our description body and move it up and down as the description body is shown and hidden. A useful new addition to version 7 is a shortcut to push or pull widgets to the left and right or up and down when you show or hide a widget. Previously we used a move with action to achieve this. This can still be done, by the way, but version 7 provides a shortcut. In version 7 this is called pushing or pulling widgets and it's something that we can affect as we set, show or hide actions on widgets. First let's drag a paragraph widget into the page which will push down. Let's give it a name push me. First we should check that the Y location of our pushed panel is the same or less than the Y location of the panel doing the pushing or it just won't work. Okay. So let's go back to our case where we're showing our description body paragraph. In the show hide configuration options, you'll find a more options drop down. At the bottom, you'll find push widget. You can choose to push widgets to the right or below. You can also add an animation, which we'll do now. Let's put a swing on it. Swing describes the rate of movement. We'll see this in action shortly. This interaction is only half baked. Uh, we need to reverse the action when we click on read less. Let's do that now. Open the hide product description body case. Pull widgets, swing, okay. And here it is in action. Okay, so far we've covered a lot of interaction without converting to dynamic panels. This is something that will take some getting used to for existing users. For new users, we will introduce dynamic panels in the next video. Dynamic panels are appropriate to use when you have a feature with many similarly formatted states, but with different content. A slideshow is a good example of a feature suitable for deployment via a dynamic panel. Okay, that's what's coming up next.